Lord Memphis gonna sell dope and, and rob, and that's it. <laughs> um, I, also that's to, it. I also wanted to ask you too, um, how you said like um, in North Memphis, like you had to once you got money, you had to put up the people you love. You had to you had to get them out the city. Um, you, you I wanted to ask you, get them out. Was put them in yeah, put them on the outskirts. You said what now? I wanted to ask you, um, do you feel like like with a lot of rappers and stuff, they kind of make themselves more, you know, they make themselves available to the community when they come back and stuff like that. Just, you know, they frequently visit the city. They, um, you know, do shows in the city with no security, just they do homies and stuff. Maybe my thing, man, ain't nothing wrong with extra guns. I don't care what you get. I don't care if you got to put money in somebody's hand or if it's your, it's your homeboy standing right there. See, I, I look at that like, I hear people say that, you know, I don't I don't get into that. You know what I'm saying? Because I put some money in somebody's hand and they're gonna shoot even quicker. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know, people around me, people around me is my homies and family, but at the same time, they business me. So you know what I'm saying? A businessman gotta make them, he's a man, you know what I'm saying? So he gotta get a money, he gotta get some money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like we in this for some money. Ain't nobody in this for just to keep me up and they ain't they not up, you know what I'm saying? Like, nah. And you know what I'm saying? That's how I look. That's how I move. You know what I'm saying? I, I think that a person should have, like, if I say, okay, say I go to LA. I'm going to have my guys with me, right? Right. But I'm also might hire the Muslims to do some security for me. But I know some of them, and a lot of the Muslims, they was from the street out there in LA. They, you know, ex Crips and stuff like this. So, I mean, my thing is, what's wrong with that? See, the game is this, man. This is the game. See, when people scream that, I mean, if you scream it, that's you. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got no security, okay, cool. Um, I did time. You know what I'm saying? I robbed. I, I sold the dope. I shot on people. I'm going to have security. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm going to have security. I'm going to have my guys in security. I'm going to have security securing us and my guys securing us in the inner. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Two right. circles. Right. So you can breach one, you ain't going to breach the next one. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we all going to shoot. If, if, even if somebody got past me a gun, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's irrelevant, you know what I'm saying? It ain't about being tough. It's about handling business. It's about handling business, get that money, come back home. It's about being safe, you know and what I'm saying? And I feel like, I also feel like, man, you know, it's more about me, you know, the smart guy than the tough guy, you know what I'm saying? Like, so like, I look at it like this, like you got rappers that go back to their hoods and like they pass out stuff and like turkeys and stuff like that. But and at the wrong. same time, I think it's just, was like, you know, when you making yourself accessible, like maybe what if you just send some of your homies out there with your brand instead of you being out there? Because you being out there, you, I mean, a nigga could shoot you from across the street. You know what I'm saying? Like you making yourself, yeah. like you worth, yeah. you worth so much more than like what you around. And it's like you making, you putting yourself in an environment well, where accessible to people like a nigga just ride by. You know what I'm saying? Like the Nipsey Hustle situation, stuff like that. But like you, you too accessible. Like you got to like, somebody just walk up and see you like if you if your status is that like i just feel like people like with that type of status should be more protected like maybe you you don't go directly but you send your brand out there you know you let it be known that it's coming from you instead of you being out there you know directly which i understand you know i understand some I people do it, but they show people that like show people like i'm i'm still like you you know you can do this too like i'm pretty sure it's like some people try to motivate others like look man i'm i'm just like you i just took a different route and well, I look at, I feel what you're saying. I mean, it's just a matter of opinion. I mean, you know, um, in the, like Nipsey Hussle situation, man, I think it was really messed up. And I think it was messed up to the point where, you know, like he was doing like a lot of good stuff. He had stuff in the neighborhood. And I mean, he was just trying to like show people that, you know, I'm doing it out the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't just, you know, it was for motivation, of course. And it was to, Help the hood, of course. He he did too much, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. you know, I think Nipsey Hussle, man, I, I I I think his situation was really is very sad to me because yeah. like you know, cause dude, he was certified, you know what I'm saying? Like you don't, and I say this, man, people, you know, ain't gonna listen to what I'm saying because you know you always got some clown and look ahead and some <laughs> psycho out there. He don't care, you know. Yeah. But those who do, you know. You don't kill. You don't kill somebody that came from the same area you came from, or same, where you come from that's made it, because that that give you an opportunity to make it. Like yeah. I don't have to never do a song. Say Nipsey Hussle was here alive, I would never have to do a song with Nipsey Hussle. I ain't even from L.A., but just because he from the hood and he made it, record company signed him, gave him a million dollars. Well, a dude from uh, Birmingham, Alabama, that's from the hood, he can make it too. See, it's yeah. like that's 
you don't kill somebody from the neighborhood that made it. You don't do that because that's killing opportunity. That exactly. seems to me that's ignorant. And it's like, if I don't rap, it don't matter. At least it's like, especially from, from your city, like like where he dude was from his city and killed him. Like, bro, like dude was from your city. Like, that means people was looking at your city. Now, they ain't just looking at your city for rapping now. They look at your city for business, look at your city for uh for, for acting, uh, you know, to, to, uh, uh, or not even the city, the neighborhood. They looking at, na- at that neighborhood. Like, everybody come out that neighborhood, man, got talent in different things. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, I mean, you, you just don't do that, man, because it, it put the eyes on you in your area. So if you put the eyes on your area, that means you got an opportunity to get some money out here. You know what I'm saying? People got to think like that, you know. It's like, man, don't touch dude, man, because dude, 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 he, he an icon for the hood. He make the hood look good to where people are want to spend some money. Man, yeah. just like this, bro, I'm, I'm break it all the way down, even to the street. If Nipsey Hussle say, yeah, man, we over here, over here uh, in the hood, man, you know where I'm at, you know what I'm saying? Where my spot at, you know? He don't say he on YouTube, he just talking, he's like, yeah, we got, the, they got the good over here. Okay, mm-hmm. now whoever's selling the weed, that's gonna bring people to the neighborhood. Now, mm-hmm. when they come, don't rob them. You know what I'm saying? Do business. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I could talk about weed from California. Cause weed in California legal anyway. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it, it, it goes all the way around the board, man. You don't, you don't, you just don't do that. You just don't, you know. And like I said, I ain't telling nobody do nothing wrong, but I'm just saying, like, you don't, you don't take somebody out that's that made it, that's from where you're from, because yeah. you just kill, you kill an opportunity. Exactly. Yeah, I feel that. Um. I also want to ask you about this, you know what I'm saying? Cause I know y'all was real cool. I know that y'all had songs together, but how do you feel about the Dolph situation too? You know what I'm saying? Like for somebody to come from the city, young, be a legend, and you know, really put on for the city. Try to put up the state. He really put on for Tennessee and put and help put Tennessee on the map as one of the rappers.